Hello. In this video, we are going to look at the implementation of a linear search um, in Java. We're going to write it as a method, and we're going to set up the method to take uh, two parameters, an array of integers and a target value. <laughs> so here we have a, a class I've already kind of set up with the main method. So I'm going to make a public static int. I'm going to have this method return the index of where the value is found. Uh, linear search. And it's going to take an array of integers. And we'll call that list. And it's going to take an integer, which is the target value. So in, with Java, I already have an error because um, because I indicated the return type of type integer, I have to actually return an integer, otherwise there's a problem. So I'm just going to go to the very end of this method and return negative 1. And I'm going to use that as um, this is um, element not found. Okay. So if I create an array here, and I'm just going to throw some values in here, 1, let's put a bunch of stuff in there, whatever. And then I'm going to make an int called location, and location is going to, I'm going to invoke linear search, and I'm going to pass it my list, and I'm going to pass it my target value. So let's search this array for, I don't know, the number 7. So in my method, what I'm going to use is the standard way to move through an array um, is to use a for loop, and we set that up for int i equals zero i is less than and again we always want to actually have the program calculate the length itself and the reason for that is because is because even though right now my array has one two three four five six seven eight nine elements um, and therefore index is zero to eight um, I could pass any length array. So therefore, actually having the for loop calculate the length independently is, is a great thing. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put an if statement. So if list at i is equivalent to target value, um, then I'm going to return i. So basically, I'm saying return the index location. So now, let's just print this out. So if I give this a, a run, I return the value 2, and I can see, let's look, I'm searching for the, the value 7, 0, 1, 2. Now, this implementation is going to find the first instance of that element if it appears multiple times, and that's something to think about when you're designing it yourself. If I'm going to search for, say, the value 77, and I run this, I get negative 1 because the value isn't there. So it's always, always it's really good to add some documentation to this. So I'm going to go slash star. Um, actually, no, I'm going to go slash star star. So the nice thing about that is it actually will auto-generate some of the comments for me, method header. So this method will take an array and array of integers and an integer value. It will return the index of the first instance of the target value in the array. If the target value is not in the array, it will return negative 1. And that's it. So as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, and again, the nice thing to do is try and implement this, this algorithm in another language. Um, because remember, it's all about the algorithms and the approach to solving a problem, not necessarily the language you use. Have a great day.